What's up guys? To my fab subscribers, welcome back to my channel. To all you new guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be working on a special product for one of the rooms that I'm making over. I want to surprise my client with a painting. It's kind of something that I've had in mind. It's essentially just a black canvas with book papers covering it, burnt edges, and then like a water coloring over it. For this project, I'm gonna be using very neutral and warm tones. So dark greens, yellows, beige, gray, black. And my first time doing it, guys, really quick, if you have an iPhone 11, you guys can pick up some really clear protective cases on Amazon for less than seven bucks. Link will be down below, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. Now let's get on with the video. Alright, so I'm using an old canvas that I was actually given to me by one of my friends. It's two feet by four feet and the first thing that you're going to want to do is cover all the parts that are going to be visible in black paint. So I'm using this paint that I actually purchased at Walmart. It was very inexpensive, I believe three or four bucks for this entire jug. And you really didn't even need this entire thing. I thought I would, but with one of the small bottles, you would have been just fine. For best results, make sure you elevate your painting and cover all the edges in paint. All right, for the next part of the product, you're gonna wanna use a book. I actually got this book from the Dollar Tree for a dollar and I found the chapter that I found most interesting and ripped out the pages because those are the ones that I wanted to use. I then laid them out neatly in order next to the canvas, kind of mimicking the size and how they would look on, on the canvas, um, just to get a general feel for it. Then with the lighter, you just want to come in and start burning your edges. I'd recommend you do this outside because this created a huge mess and left ashes and a very strong smell inside my house. I essentially did one row at a time just to keep a consistency and make sure I wasn't messing up. I did page by page and realized that they weren't coming out completely even when you matched them up. So I ended up doing something like what you're looking at on the screen right now so they were more even. Next, I laid them on top of the actual canvas to kind of see exactly what it would look like. And then I started applying the glue. The glue you want to apply very lightly and around the edges, make sure there's no clumps or anything because it will show through when you are pasting these. The product I use the matte paints from Walmart. These are only 50 cents a bottle. And I, what I did is I diluted them into cups of water, as you'll see in the next screen, to kind of help us with that water effect that we're going for. For this, I just went at it freely. Um, as you can see, I'm just spreading different colors all around, making sure obviously that they're not next to each other, and just playing with it. Art is really in your eyes and what you think looks best. You have to play with the colors and see what works best for you and what you think should be in your painting. For the first layer, I used the diluted colors that we had mixed and I progressively added more from the concentrated ones. So I would dip into the paint, dip into some water and then stroke. The wetter the paper is, the more easily the paint actually spreads um, towards this part of the product, I thought that the colors were a little bit too bright, so I started to dim them down and mix them with a little bit of black kind of to tone it down. It wasn't something that I particularly liked, and towards the end, or the final product, ends up being a little bit more toned down than what we initially see, and that's because, I, again, I didn't like how it was coming out. Alright, so after about an hour, more or less, you're getting close to your finishing product um, and so what I did here was just kind of add a little bit of finishing touches where I thought we needed you know, more neutrals, a little bit more toning down, something that I felt more comfortable with and that my client would like more. 
I also added some paint splatters to add to more visual interest and kind of break up the lines a little bit. And I think that really helped me with feeling more comfortable and confident in this painting.